it's Sunday, July 18th. I can't see the time. 11.56 a.m. Okay, the other day Jim mowed and there was a bunch of the pompous grass that was dead laying there and as you can see it got all chopped up. Some of it got thrown over here. And this wasn't like this yesterday. Because I remember there being pompous grass and thinking, I wonder if I should try to clean that out. And I thought, nah, <laughs> just leave it. But laying here this morning is a hunk of it, which has been, before I pick it up, because I don't know if I'll mess it up, a piece of it's been twisted. Well, not a piece of it, a bunch of it's been twisted and bent over. Let's take a look at it now. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, there's something else I want to show you too. I'll probably take this in. Hang on, it's up on the porch. Okay, if you remember back on the 10th, when we went away and came back and I found that leaf laying on the porch with that little piece of leaf beside it, and over here was a piece of a stone, like a little tiny stone, in one of the divots. And I wasn't sure if they left that too or not. I think I didn't pick it up and I probably brushed it away, which really upsets me now. Because yesterday, Jim and I were out here, we changed some hanging pots around and I had them sitting on the table and stuff. And then we went around back to take some of them back there. We were back there for a while, and then when we came back around, this rock was laying here, this little tiny piece of rock. And it's a little bit sparkly, I don't think you can see it, but it's it's like that piece that was over there, same texture, and tiny. And came from who knows where. I don't know, I, at first I thought maybe it was stuck to the bottom of one of the pots, but I don't see how that really could have happened so now I'm thinking that that other piece was from them too and I didn't keep it unless I can get down here and look for it doubt it I'll find it though I think I even swept the steps off but anyways that was most likely from them too just wanted to include that so I'm going to try to keep this because that's pretty cool. Like twist it up and stuff. It's 3.05 p.m. July 19th. I went out behind the propane tank to husk some corn. And on my way back out I found another one of these twisted pieces of grass. I'm going to have to take it down so you can see it. Hang on. I put it in a bag so that it, it wouldn't fall apart. But it's probably hard for you to see it in the bag. But it's twisted and tied like the other one. This one's bigger. Very cool. That piece right there is really, really in a knot. Let's see. Hm. Right there, that piece. July 20th, 6, 17 p.m. All right, now I just got up from a nap. Haven't felt good. And I uh, needed to lay down. So anyways, you know how I regularly check everything, and especially in the morning. So I didn't see anything different this morning, but look what's inside this slinky. 
It's a gift. Wow. Wow, I can't get it. <laughs> it's a spring. I can't get a hold of it. There we go. A very long spring. And I'm wondering if they put it in there because it reminds them of this slinky. Like it stretches out like that. And you know what? When the grandkids were here the other day, Braxton was playing with these like crazy stretching them out and stuff. Wow. You know they never cease to amaze me. <laughs> okay. This is quite amazing. When I turned around to come back in, I noticed mud streaks on the floor of the porch. And I'll be doggone if it doesn't look like hand or foot like smears. I'm going to guess hand. I don't even know. That looks like a palm. And there's one, one, two, three, four, five streaks. I'm thinking either they were walking up here or they were on their all fours. And then if you come back here, there's more. It's like they came I don't know. I see some kind of a streak here. And then over here there's something. There's something. Here's some more. And that looks like That looks like kind of like dermal ridges. See, there's that, and then there's over here some. Let me go up here to where it's really thicker. And they kind of turn and go right to where I found my little gift. How cool is that? I gotta tell you right now that if ever I have seen a Bigfoot handprint, and you know I have, that's a pinky. I would say a pinky and it's about the same size as mine so I'm guessing that whatever was up here had hands about as big as mine and I noticed this right here and this is like finger sized mark but yeah it just goes right over there to where they left the spring. I'm going to try to get some better pictures of everything. Another thing I'm thinking is maybe it walked up, put it in, and like backed up on all fours because the motion of the, of the streaked fingers, you know, I'm thinking it might have come back. Like swiped this way and then put its palm down. Continue back here and then got up and walked away. I'm so excited.
it's Friday, July 23rd, 4.57 p.m. Okay, so this morning I cleaned off the porch, I cleaned the table, and I did some chores around the house, I did some pruning and things that I had to do. And then I went in and laid down because Annabelle's coming and I wanted to be feeling good when she comes. Tip top. Right. So, <laughs> um, Jim and I went to the back for a few minutes and I was just out back watering. But at some point recently, especially since I cleaned the porch, the Bigfoots were up and put this in my chair. Looks like a root from something. Pretty cute. <laughs> They're so funny. Okay, so Annabelle's here and the Slinkies. She picked them up and put them over here on the table and she arched them. We've been playing in the front and inside and I came out to close the umbrella and get things put up for the night and the slinkies were back here where they go <laughs> so pretty sure our little friends are watching and they put them back where they're supposed to be Sunday July 25th 8 20 p.m. Okay, I got a couple leaves in places <laughs> that seem to be too much of a coincidence. We got one here, right in the middle, and one in front of my chair, right in the middle, on the floor. I mean, actually, you know, I did see that here this morning, and I wondered if they put it on the chair and it blew off during the night but I don't know maybe they maybe they actually want it there or maybe they didn't put it there at all or, or this one but I find this a little too much of a coincidence seeing how they put things there all the time and it's folded folded over like I don't know if they did that see or if that's just how it was but it is kind of pretty it's folded up so I'm not 100% certain they did these two leaves but I'm kind of leaning towards they probably did so anyways documenting it just to be safe Okay, um, I just noticed that this is laying here where I had been keeping it. I stuck it to the side of the slinkies to get them to notice it. And it's back down here, so I guess they did that. Now let's try, and then I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'll put it there. Let's see what they do. Okay, it's now 8.07, July 28th, p.m. And... Um, this nest has been here for quite a while. Now, it, it seems to get moved around, and I found it, like, last time I saw it was, like, clear over here and upside down. And I thought, okay, bitsy has been playing with it or something, because she's out here a lot. But now it's back, perfectly upright and where it should be. So... I don't know how that could have got back there unless somebody put it where it should go. So I'm thinking the Bigfoots did that as well. So basically what I have found today 
the back porch the magnet put back and the nest put back it seems like the Bigfoots were tidying up and putting things where they go <laughs> so that seems to be what they did to, like whatever last night today I don't know when they did it but yeah good little helpers It's Friday, July 30th, 8.45 p.m. Alright, I just came out to check stuff and I didn't think I saw anything until I looked a little closer at that magnet. And whenever I was out here and they had put it back, I, if you remember, I said I was going to put it on the slinky up on top and see what they would do so I put it over here as you can see so it'd be the one on the left now it's on the one on the right <laughs> so they were up at some point here and moved that over <laughs> okay now let's see I'm gonna put it I think I'll put it on the magnetic pole. See what they do. There's also this little thing laying here, and I don't know if that just fell there. I'm going to say it fell there, but I don't know for sure. I mean, it is placed like right in the middle. And I don't remember seeing it earlier, so I don't know if they put that there or not. Whoops. I don't know what to do. I think I'll leave it. No, I think I'll take it in, just in case. I'll put it in the maybe box, because I don't know for sure. And I'll tell them thanks, just in case they did leave it. Saturday, July 31st, 7.27 a.m. Okay, on, looking at a picture, on, um, let me see, July 28th, I put this picture, I mean, I took this picture, um, I put this little bookmark it's a magnet I took it off the fridge in the garage and I brought it to the front porch I just wanted to do something different to um, I don't know change things up and I'm trying to get the picture bigger there okay so you see it's laying beside the post and I opened it up, it folds, and I put the pretty side out. This morning, it's turned over. And it's not just flipped like something would have flipped it. And it, because it, it would be out of place. It's turned over in its spot. So that would take hands and, you know, um, thought. So it's just turned over. So that's happened so far. And I haven't checked the back yet. So we'll see if anything happened back there. Okay, I was making my way around the house. And I just noticed this. And it's probably nothing. Like, seriously. But right there, like here, would be the back end of a heel. And here would be the other one, like two feet standing side by side. Press the grass down, <clears throat> which is thicker right there. And Jim's probably going to mow this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me, fog my throat. But to me that looks like two feet were standing side by side. And it's right by our bedroom window so like I said I'm not sure but it does 
give it appearance. So, anyhow, just wanted to show you, to, just in case it is something. Okay, here's something else. Jim uh, clipped those stems off of the lilies. Actually, he did it with the weed whacker, I think. And he says he cleaned them up, at least most of them. And you know I walk around here every day, pretty much, and this is the first time I've noticed. And this has been like at least a week ago that he did that. And there's a pattern, especially that T, and that's something that they have made before. And then you got those two kind of sort of in a pattern. So I don't know if they did that, but like I said, this is the first time I've noticed it. And they did seem to be up last night. Uh, there's two more right here going this way. So, I'm not sure, but it looks a little suspicious to me. That's a crazy cow. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's all I see. Okay, I just came out here to check stuff before I go to bed. And it was just... Going around the porch a little bit like this. Just standing back here and I heard some something hit the shed like a rock. Couldn't be a stick falling from the tree because there's nothing above the shed. So I think they threw a rock. Um I don't see anything out here. I believe I'm gonna put a recorder out and see if it picks anything up any more sounds so we'll see it's uh, Tuesday August 3rd 7.34 p.m. okay a few things um let me think first of all about an hour ago would you say Jim an hour or less I came outside after we ate supper and stuff to water the flowers so I was I had watered all that stuff and I came over here to the edge to water this stuff and I was standing here and I heard just on the other side of the um, trees and weeds and stuff it's not very far maybe 30 40 feet um, in that field down below I heard a woo it was like woo or something like that just it, it seemed like they were doing it at me and they haven't done that very often recently they they got very quiet but just right down in there if you can see past how deep that goes or not but that happened so I, I told him hi and stuff and of course you know I checked stuff when I was out here um, didn't see anything different I was all over the porch and stuff with the hose so I would have noticed then I get done I went around to the front to sit on the front porch with Jim so I got up there 
and we were just sitting there for a few minutes and we saw a coyote run a small coyote from there and it wasn't like very skittish or anything Jim went whoop or something and it ran a little bit faster but it ran this way towards where that whoop I heard come from when I was watering so that's the other side of it but there's a fence that runs there right along the edge and then like where those trees are it turns into field so it sounded like whatever it was came from in that tall grass and field and that's where the coyote ran towards which is interesting since I wondered if they have a pet coyote this one though looked smaller and younger than the other one that we've seen around the house so anyways the next thing that happened was we were sitting on the front porch and let me see I believe I heard something it sounded like it something hit or something it was a weird noise right back behind me and Jim I looked at Jim and I said did you hear that what was that and he said I thought it was you and I'm like no it was behind me so we sat there maybe another 15 minutes or so and I decided to get up and walk around came this way and during that time between me watering the plants and sitting on the porch they brought this gift it's one of those nerf bullets <laughs> when I haven't brought me one of those in a long time but that is so awesome and they've been since last night being very like vocal and active and it's gotten cooler and nicer out so I don't know if that's got something to do with it or if they're just I don't know I hope things change so that they're more vocal I would love that so anyways I'm going to tell them thanks again for this and then go put it away I just found something very interesting um don't know for sure if it isn't a glove or not but I just happened to come across this and it, it looks like a pointer these two sticks especially and look where it's pointing to our bedroom window And they have made glyphs along this area before, so I think that's pretty cool. It's Friday, August 6, 7.40 a.m. Okay, the Bigfoots were up last night. Before I went to bed, I checked everything, nothing different. And I know that they were up because I put this magnet on the side of the grill, which would be there, as you can see. And they moved it up here to the top. And it also looks like the grills moved a teensy bit. So <laughs> that's kind of cute. I don't know why they did it. Uh, yeah, I haven't walked around yet, so we'll see if there's anything else.
Sunday, August 8th, 8.05 a.m. Okay, so the Bigfoots were up, and I kind of expected them to come up last night, and I'll tell you why. Um, Jim and I sat on the back porch for a long time last night. Really enjoyed it. Um, I think we went in around 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. But Jim went in first. And right after he went in, from the area back, um, if you go back there around that cabin that's back there, from those woods I heard the owl sound. And I don't hear that very often anymore, but it was like very pronounced then I went inside and I did some things and I came back out to close up and everything in the back and when I was going in the door to my right from the back porch I heard what sounded like a mouth pop you know like you stick your finger in your mouth and pop it and I've heard that before on uh, audio recordings that I've got. So I, at the time, I didn't think for sure it was them or anything, but I wondered. And actually, I had a recorder going, so maybe it's on there. I haven't listened yet, but if it is, I'll include it. So anyways, I was kind of thinking they'd do something today when I got up that they would have done something and they did um, Chris's Chris Reinhardt's rock that he sent me I keep right here on this crock and guess where it is over here by the post with the marbles and they put it right beside the big marble which is very it's like they always do the unexpected, you know. Um, why did they do that? And why did they put it there and stuff? It's just like, I, I have no idea, but it's cool. Um, I can guess that they put it there because in a way it's, they're similar because they're like rocks. Oh, sorry, it's going everywhere with it. And then, um, also, when I first put his rock out, I put it in these in that area. So I don't know, but very uh, interesting. So that's what I found so far, and I haven't been around the house yet or on the back porch. So I want to go check everything out. Okay, the first thing I notice is that the grill has moved a little bit. Okay, I put that in there. It's still in there, so maybe it just got bumped by Bitsy. <laughs> um, okay, I don't see anything on the railing. Monday, August 9th, 7.31 a.m. Okay, um... I don't even know where to begin. Um, yesterday, whenever I got up and... Chris's rock was over there. On my way back in, I found what I thought was cat puke. It was grass. I, I'm sorry this is gross, but I need to talk about it uh, like right there and I picked it up and threw it away now yesterday last evening I worked on that uh, flower arrangement right there and I cut some of those um, 
frilly looking things down and I thought they'd make a good Bigfoot gift so I left them on the porch I put them up against the railing or up against the post there and some other pieces of stuff that I cut off so this morning I get up and this is what I see those are scattered all over the porch and except for these ones these are pretty much barely moved but also right here is some more of that grassy throw up now Bitsy was out all night last night and the night before so I have attributed that to her I also figured oh boy Bitsy was into this stuff and really made a mess However, she did it without disturbing this. And then I saw three of them up on the table. And <laughs> I can't attribute that to Bitsy. Um, first of all, I see no little kitty prints up on the table. And I've never seen her up on the table. And I can't imagine her bringing three pieces of that up and putting it there. So, the only way I can explain that is Bigfoot's. So, did they do the rest of this? I don't know. Now, if, if they did do that and they were up two days in a row and there's cat puke on the front porch. How's that related? Or is it just unrelated? So, bit of a mystery. But that I find to be not doable by my little cat. Why would she do it? It's the biggest question. So, well, for one thing, why maybe the Bigfoots did it is I sat here yesterday working on that flower arrangement and I put a, the extra stuff all over here. So, maybe they were watching. So, I'll probably gather this all up and uh, put it back over there see if anything else happens. I want to make sure Bitsy's inside tonight. That's one problem with having an animal outside. Is you don't know if they're screwing around with stuff. Usually I can tell though. She doesn't really do much. But anyways, that's where I am. I've already checked everything else. I didn't see anything else. So... That'll be it for now. Okay, so Jim's at work, but I just showed him the pictures that I took of all this. And he thinks that the throw-up is unrelated to this. He doesn't think Bitsy would do this, which I <laughs> don't either. Um, but, I mean, that could have been done in a separate time. So, don't really know why they spread that all out like that. If that's what happened, I'm pretty sure it is because of that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Jim thought that, that the two things were unrelated. Okay, it's now 4.53, and Jim came out and got the mail. The mail had already gone. Um, just want to make that clear. <laughs> and, um, he brought me this <laughs> piece of a branch that said, he said gonna, he was going to throw it away, and then he thought that was actually weird, but he said it was stuck in the mailbox flag. 
I don't want to show you the whole thing. But, yeah, I don't think that would have happened on its own. down in there pretty good, apparently. So, that's pretty cool. It is, um, Tuesday, August 10th, 7.36 a.m. So, I get up and I check the front porch first thing. Um, yesterday I put everything back over here. Hang on a second. That's how I left everything. And last night I made sure Bitsy was in the garage. So she hasn't been out here. And look what's on the table. Same spot. Now yesterday there were three of these. Today there's four. I think they're telling me that they saw me making that flower arrangement I think I think that's what to do because that's where I set things when I was making it like the, I put that stuff there I sat there making it and I put the extra stuff over here <laughs> that's so cool okay I'm gonna go check everything else see if anything else happened I want to say one more thing, and that is that my first impression yesterday was right, that that was the Bigfoots, not something else that did it, so I guess you need to go with your first instincts or whatever, usually. It's Sunday, August 15th, 7.51 a.m. Okay, I almost missed this this morning, <laughs> but looks like the Bigfoots were up because they put that magnet inside of the slinkies, slinky, and um, I mean they may have done that just because, because they do things like that, but the other day when the grandkids were here, Braxton, put a bunch of these magnets inside the slinky and they were sticking. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with that or not. Um, I don't see anything else at the moment. I haven't been all around the house yet. Okay. Let you know if I see something else. It's now 1.33 p.m. And I had to take a nap because I was super tired today. And I believe the Bigfoots were up while I was sleeping because that bottle cap is stuck to that magnet. It was not like that this morning when I first came out here. Um, it was laying right here, and I put it there last night, because Jim and I were sitting here enjoying the evening last night, and I drank a spurn off, and Jim crushed it, <laughs> and I don't know, I just thought, you know, because of what they've done before with beer caps and stuff, so I put it here and now it's stuck to the magnet so <laughs> I believe they were up I don't think it would have just blown from the wind because it's not been that windy and it was here all night and that didn't happen so Ugh. traffic on the road way down there it's a motorcycle but anyways, that happened while I was taking a nap, 
And gonna look around. 